So I went outside this morning and I saw my breath in the air and that is just too cold for me here in Florida and so I figured I would work on an indoor project. Clay is out of town this week and I've been waiting for him to go out of town to make his birthday present. At Christmas time I made Koi a leather cover for his art book and so this is the one that I made for him. When Clay saw it he said that he you know he really liked it and said man I would really like to have one of those and so I thought that would be the perfect birthday present and with him being gone I thought it was the perfect opportunity to do a video and show you how to do it. There are a few things that you will need for this project. The first is some sort of a backing. Now I do not have any um, leather around my house right now and so um, I ended up having to buy some leather. Um, that was the most expensive part of this project. I found this on Etsy. It's the only place that I found really what I was looking for. And I will put the store where I bought this in the link below so you can go and check that out. And they have different sizes you can order. I went on and ordered a large piece because I wanted to have some extra here. Um, I think I ordered a 24 by 36. I don't need that much for, that, for the book that I'm gonna make, but I just wanted to have extra. Um, when you are looking for leather, you don't wanna get it too thick and too stiff because it's gonna be really hard hard to get you know the nice bend and opening of the book this that I bought here is a five to six ounce which is about two to two point four millimeters thick you're not really going to want to want it much thicker than that or you're going to have a hard time and then the other thing that you're going to need is some leather working tools I got this kit on Amazon here and it really has like all the tools that you need and then you can use any type of a sketchbook or any size that you want and then the only other really things that you're going to need, you're gonna need some um, contact cement, um, a hammer or a mallet, you're gonna need that. So when you do this, you have to go and punch holes all the way around this. And when you do that, one, it is extremely loud, but if you're putting this on your counter, you're gonna poke holes all on your counter. And then even if you're using a, a wood cutting board, I mean, it pokes pretty deep holes all into the cutting board. So I just keep, a, this is a two by six, I'm just gonna keep that in here and then just put that under my leather and hammer it as I go around. That way the holes get poked in this and it doesn't really ruin my cutting board. And you're going to need a T-square. This makes it really good for cutting the leather. When you get a piece of leather like this, the edges aren't even, and so you wanna make sure this is even. And so this T-square makes that really nice. And then once we get toward the end, we'll also be using a belt sander to go around and then sand all these edges down really smooth and make it look nice. And I will link the things that I used in the video um, description. That way, if you wanna check these out, you can go and check these out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up here. Here. And another thing with the with the leather, so this is um, stained and oiled already. Um, but when you are working, you kind of want a smooth surface because you're going to get your leather all scratched up, and you can wipe some of these scratches out at the end. Um, but if you're working on a really rough surface, then your leather is going to get all scratched up. This is really nice, really pretty leather. It feels really good. So when you get ready to start making this or when you're planning this out to buy your leather, you're wanting whatever size your book is, you're gonna want to add a three quarters of an inch. That way you have plenty of room for your seams and then to slide the book in and out of the pockets. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is measure just the distance around the book. And I am by no means a professional on doing this. This is just the way that worked for me. I'm sure there are other places that will give you a lot more technical terms, but uh, this is this works. All right, so we're gonna measure around our book here. And so we've come into 18 and a half inches. So I'm gonna be adding three quarters of an inch to each side. So I'm gonna add, a, add another inch and a half to that. So which is gonna give me 20 inches lengthwise. 20 inches, what I need to do. And then top to bottom here, it is 11. It's actually 11 and a quarter. And then you're gonna want your three quarters of an inch on the top and three quarters of an inch on the bottom. Okay, so top to bottom, you're gonna want 12 and three quarters of an inch. And then now you're just gonna cut your leather. Thank you. 
And if you mess up with your cutting, don't panic. You can fix it. Even with that three extra three quarter inch, you're still gonna have just a little bit of leeway. So it's not detrimental if you go off just a little bit. You just wanna stay as close as possible to your line that you're trying to cut. Okay. All right, here is your piece of leather. And so this is what happens when you, you can see these scratches here. Sometimes you can buff these out. Um, let's see, it's not so bad anymore. But uh, you just wanna be careful um, sliding your leather around, even on the cutting board. So we just wanna get all of our pieces cut first before we start sewing things together. But we do wanna check this as you go just to make sure it fits before you start cutting up your other leather. Okay, so you should have plenty of space to work with all around your book. So this here, so this is my piece that we're, that's gonna back the book. This is the, uh, the other piece that was on the other side of this that we cut off. I'm just gonna flip it this way. That way I can make sure it goes all the way across my book here. And then I'm just going to divide this in half and that's gonna be the depth of my pockets. Make sure I did not confuse you. This is how this fit together here. So this is how this fit. This is the back of our leather book here. And so this is the piece that I cut off. The only thing I'm gonna do to get my pocket depth is I'm gonna take this piece, flip it this way, and then I'm going to measure this and just divide it in half. That way that is gonna be the depth of my inside pockets. And we have, so it's going to be five and three quarter inch pockets on each side. Um, my total, so my total length here going across is 11 and a half inches, which means that my inside pockets are gonna be five and three quarters of an inch wide. Or, or deep, but however you wanna, however you want to say it. Five and three quarters. So easy way to do this for, you know, just to get it as wide as you need is just lay this on top of your pockets that you're fixing to cut. There you go. This is your book binding here. This is gonna be the pockets. So just lay your book binding on top and then you can make your line all the way across just like that and you know where to cut. All right. So now we have our inside pockets and then we have our outside piece. All right, so when I did coys, I had this little flap here and so we're gonna go ahead and start working on this little flap. You want the flap sewed on before you put these in there, that way you're hiding all of the seams. And so we're gonna go ahead and cut that into for my measurement just to make sure I have the right size. I just put my book in here just like I would want it. And then I just kind of wrap this around where I'm gonna put it in at. All right. So this is the area that I want to use here. Right there, this is where I'm gonna be using. The pattern that I use is just the end of a belt. And so I just put my belt up here And this is another one of the tools that come in that little kit. And then you're just gonna go, and you just kind of scrape the leather around it. And then you're gonna go with your tool and cut, cut it out. All right, so after we cut our piece with our belt, then I went back and cut just another little oval piece that matches the end of the belt. This is going to be the flap that holds it closed. And so we're going to end up sewing that on top of there and then we'll stitch it across. That way this little flap here catches the buckle. I have a little rectangle cut. I get that little rectangle fitted here to go as the buckle. And then I have my belt fitted to go onto the back and go right into the buckle. We're gonna take just a second though to smooth these edges out on these and just kind of round the corners off just a little bit. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just put 
my belt piece right on the edge of my cutting board and I'm just gonna run the Dremel right down the side just to smooth it out a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and first go ahead and put our belt pieces together. So the little flap that's gonna go on the top of the belt. We're gonna be using contact cement. Now, if you've never used contact cement, it's not like glue. You don't just put the glue on there and stick these together. You have to let it almost dry. It's gonna be like tacky feeling before you stick your leather together. And so we're gonna do that. But the first thing you have to do is you have to kind of scrape the back of the leather up. And then on top of this, we're gonna scrape this up to make sure we get a nice, good, um, glue down and so before we do that though I just want to make me a line I want to make me a line across here that way I'm not scratching up too much of my leather okay so we're gonna go ahead and glue this piece on but we're also gonna go ahead and glue our buckle onto the front of our book that way I want to do this because I'm gonna once I glue this on I'm gonna sew this on and when I sew it I want my stitches to be covered up by the flap so I won't be able to see those stitches so we're gonna go ahead and sew this on as well and so I kind of put my book together and f found out where I wanted like just where this looked good is kind of how I did this and then I measured from top to bottom to make sure I had it in the middle and then I just used my little scratching tool and went and I scratched the outline of this now you're not going to glue this whole thing you're only gluing just the sides of this down because that's where you're going to make your stitches at and then you want the majority of this open in the middle this is the little rectangle that i have scratched out where i'm going to um, put my buckle at but i'm not going to glue the whole thing i'm only going to glue to about right there on both sides and that way that's where my stitches will go right across there and then the rest of this, this will be open and so I'm doing about a quarter of an inch that's what I'm going to be gluing here and so just the ends is what I'm gonna scratch up and you want to do a pretty good scratch job but gluing this down first makes it so it's much easier to sew when it's already glued down scratch that up good and then you're gonna go and just scratch your not that there's much to scratch up but you're just gonna go and just give that a roughed up little job on the back of the latch okay so I get that one ready to go and then I'm going to do my latch pieces here and it's the same thing I don't want the glue to come all the way down so I'm only going to go right about there with the glue and then I'm just gonna scratch it up really good and so when you put your glue on you are putting glue on both sides letting it get tacky before you stick them together I've got um, a Weldwood contact cement the original formula so I'm gonna be using a popsicle stick to smear this on you can't use you can use a paintbrush but you can't use like one of the little foam paint brushes because the stuff that's in this just eats that away and it just gets soggy and falls apart you don't need a lot so I just put just a dab and then just smear it around so you're just smearing that on the side just a little bit just like that so I'm just gonna go ahead and smear that around these are almost dry so we're gonna go ahead and put these together I'm gonna put it on there and then and this one we're just gonna line up here we're just gonna put something over the top of this because I don't want to get a bunch of scratches on that leather right, so there's pretty much my area that I am getting ready to make my holes to start stitching and so what you do here you're just gonna put your punch right where you want it and you're poking a hole in your leather there you go so you can see the hole right there and we're just gonna do that all the way around that line
we have that ready. You can see the holes all the way in it. It is ready to sew up. And this is what I was talking about with the cutting board, about how it makes these big holes all in your cutting board. And it doesn't seem like an, a lot now, but by the time you do the entire book, it's a lot. And then you also, when you do this, you want to hold on the outside as well, just one little stitch that goes on top of the buckle and around. So these tools are really nice, but you can still do this. If you don't have one of these, you can just use a nail. It would work just fine. You can do this whole project without any of these tools. It does make it easier to have the tools. Um, but if you don't have them, don't let it stop you. Grab some stuff and start working. See the holes in there and that's ready to sew up as well. So I'm just going to cut a piece off here. So we're going to go ahead and sew this up here. I'm just going to take it starting from the bottom so your string will be underneath here. So you're going to start from the bottom and thread it all the way across, reverse it, thread it back across again, and then come up to the top and do the top. And the first hole. And so we're doing one to the side to make sure we're holding that on good. All right, so just leave some of that hanging out the bottom there. All right, so we're just gonna keep doing this all the way across. Once we get to here, we're gonna reverse, go back the other way. Okay, so we've gone all the way across and then all the way back. And so what we, ha what we have now on the back is you just have this string sticking out here and then this is the sh your string with the needle on it. I'm gonna show you how to weave this back in here. Wax string's really hard to tie a knot in because it just pulls out. And so you can just weave this back in here to tie it. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your needle and go through underneath this first loop here very carefully because you don't wanna break your thread. So just take it right under there and pull it. And then you're going to loop it over your string, your starting string, and just pull snug. And then you're just gonna keep doing that. You're gonna go to the next one here. Go under. Just make sure your loop catches the starting string. Pull it tight. Just keep on going across until you have no starting string left. Okay, and so there you go. Then you can just snip that off. So there's your inside and there's the outside. This inside is going to be covered up with our pocket piece and so you won't be seeing those threads. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on and then I'm gonna sew it. All right, so this is try. There's a couple ways that you can do this latch. I'm gonna show you the one that I did for Koi back in December 1st. Just sewed two lines across it and then when I sewed up the book edge, then it has another line. So you can do it this way, or I mean, you could make an X, you could do it however you wanted, but I think with clays, so I think I'm just going to take it just all the way around here. We have all of our pieces sewed up. The next thing that we need to do is we're going to put our inside flaps. It's what hold your journal in place. We're gonna be putting these in here. And it's the same thing as you did on the other. You have to glue these pieces around here. You have to glue these pieces together. And so when you're doing the, the glue on the back here, you're not wanting a lot of glue, maybe a quarter inch, because if you put too much glue in there, you're not gonna be able to get your book in there. So just paint that all around the edge. All right, so there. You can see I've done just a small strip all the way around. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side here. Okay, so these are somewhat tacky. We're just gonna go ahead and put these down. Okay, 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready to make our seam of where we're going to be putting our thread at. You wanna use your little tool. If you don't have this, you can just use a ruler and measure across and then just kind of round your corners off. Now you are sewing this, you know, you're sewing your uh, pieces of leather together, but you're still going across this as well. You're making your seam across around the entire book. And so you can see it's just making a slight mark here. Now we're just gonna go and work around here and just make our holes all the way through. So we are done with all the holes. I just went all around the whole book and put the holes in there. You're just gonna stitch it up just like I showed you how to do on the buckle and then on the flap. We're gonna go all the way around it once, reverse the direction and then go all the way back around it. So it will have that continuous chain of thread all the way around. So we went on and got all of this stitched up all the way around it. And so once you get done with that, then you have this little spot that doesn't look too pretty. This is where all of the threads started right here. And so we're just gonna go and make this look just a little bit better. You are going to have extra threads here because I mean, this is where you started and ended your threads twice. But we're just gonna go and make it just look just a little bit nicer. So what we're going to be doing, clip these extra strings off here. With your, with your thread still attached from when you just finished, all we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going under each loop here and just cinching that up some. Just keep doing that all the way down until you get to the end of wherever your um, thread stop. Just keep on, just kind of snug your line as you go to make sure you're cinching it down and make sure you're getting under the bottom loop, not just that top extra piece of string. Okay, so we are done. I'm just gonna give this a quick little tie off. So I have a loop right here. Just gonna put my string through that loop, pull it almost to the end, go back through the loop again. And our messy little line is now a nice, clean, straight line. After that, you can go ahead and just clip it off. There you go. And there you go. All right, so here we go. Moment of truth here. Goes on that side, nice and good. Then to get our back in, we just put it in. And there is our journal cover art book cover, calendar cover, picture book cover, whatever you're making, there it is in rough form. Now we're gonna go ahead and take that book back out of here and we're gonna go and clean up the edges around this really good. Then we're going to inscribe some initials in the front and then a message inside of the book. Now you are at the point now, if you had a belt sander, it would be really nice to be able to use that at this point. That way you could hold your book here and round the edges on that belt sander. I don't have one of those down here and so I'm going to be using a Dremel with a sanding blade on it and I'm just gonna be working my way all the way around it until I get it the way I want it to look. But I have my book ready to put the initials on here. Now I, pr I just printed, found you know the print that I wanted and then I printed it off and cut it out. I have this taped on this book with shipping tape. If you put tape on your book, don't leave it on there very long because if you leave it on leather for a long time, it's gonna get a really sticky residue on it. So I just put this on here long enough to go and just make a faint outline of these letters and then I'm gonna go back with my Dremel and make a deeper cut, but I just wanted to get the shape of that. So I'm pulling this off. You can see what the tape, the stuff here, the tape did. This just comes right off but you just don't wanna leave it on there a long time. But you can see the indents where I went around the letters. Now I'm gonna go back with the Dremel and then make these um, indentions just a little bit deeper. 
Now, I love giving gifts to people and I especially love making homemade gifts for people. You know, when you make a homemade gift for someone, you're, you know, you're putting thought into that and consideration of what that person wants and you're giving so much of your time to make that gift. I am super excited for Clay to get home and be able to give this gift for him. I do have some more things that I am planning on doing with leather. Keep looking out for those. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you hit that little bell icon so you're notified when the next one comes out. I will see you next time.